I was lucky enough to be invited along by a work colleague who is um, a big part of the project and um, because I'd never experienced climbing a tree this big before I um, figured it was a really nice opportunity so yeah, it's a bit short notice but I jumped straight on it and uh, it was worth every while because chances are I might not get to climb a tall, tree as tall as this again and um, yeah it was a really worthwhile experience. So the aim of the trip down to Rotorua was, was to get together with a group of guys and uh, climb some of these majestic trees. We were very fortunate to have the permission of the local authorities and had, uh, had some really helpful people who, who passed on some information and guided our, our journey. We were very fortunate to be able to climb them as uh, it's not possible for anybody to just turn up and climb these trees. You, you need to have permission and uh, it's not granted easily and uh, there's probably not a lot of chance that anybody else has climbed those trees. The records that did exist were mainly from the ground and girth measurements so we, we were fortunate to be some of the first people ever to climb these trees and, and do an accurate measurement of the height. My name is Julianne Wilkinson, I am the manager of the Tokorangi Forest which is the technical name for the Redwoods, which is what everyone calls this forest, the Redwoods or Whapi Whatever Forest. The first Redwood was planted in 1901, um, it was part of a trial, so there were actually 170 different species of trees planted in the forest. Um, as early as 1898. They needed to find a tree that was going to be the best for commercial use in New Zealand. So this was the trial plantation, first trial plantation in New Zealand. The last time the redwood trees were measured was in 2001 and as far as I'm aware it's about 63 metres. So that's, you know, a wee while ago now. How do we find the tallest tree? I thought that I would just look from the ground and see the tallest one, but in the forest that's impossible because you're surrounded with trees and you don't see the forest for the trees. So the next idea was uh, that we would just climb something that seems tallest from the ground and see which trees are sticking their heads up and we would point a finger at them and, or look with the people on the ground to, to make sure that we know which, one they, which ones they are and then we would climb them next. And um, we actually had a range finder so we could get a rough estimate of um what the tree of bee climbing would be. Obviously it's different when you're climbing it because because the canopy you can't see right at the top but um, it, you know, it gives you a good estimate. We also had some old records of trees that were measured previously and uh, that was that helped a little. In the end the first one I said climbing a tree and seeing what's tallest around you was the best approach in my opinion. Because these trees had never been pruned before, they'd never been maintained, um, within them held like quite a lot of dead branches that could easily break off and um, quite a lot of hanging branches as well that are, you know, pointing straight at the ground. So um, when we went there we set the place up, we had danger tape, everything, and we just had to be really cautious about our movements. Um, if there was a large group of people around we had to just stop them right there. You can use different 
bits and pieces of equipment. The one that is always there is a throw line and throw ball. So it's a little string with a little weight in the end and you, you throw it up the tree either with your hand or with a big shot, which is just a large, giant slingshot thing or you can use a bow and other things and you generally you throw a little weight with something light with light string at the end over a branch and you use that string to pull a rope up and you secure the rope around the tree and you climb up the rope again using different techniques and then you advance further always secured always having something around the tree uh, the getting the rope up the, the, the first bit where you're actually throwing the throw ball over the branch that's for me the hardest bit and takes most of the time and it's quite frustrating sometimes because you can't get your target but the remaining part is easy it's just rope and ascending up don't really get a chance often to, to just take our time and enjoy the, the trees themselves at work. You know, you're always sort of um, sticking to uh, targets and a, and a deadline and there's a lot of pressure to meet, um, you know, your quotes and things like that. The highlight of the trip was obviously getting to the top of the tree. Um, you know, I've never been that high up the tree before, so it was obviously quite a good feeling for me. And the view from up there was just amazing. Uh, also, knowing that I was probably the, only, the first person to climb that tree was also something that was quite cool. So when we get to the top of the trees and, and we feel it's unsafe to climb any higher, um, we'd call down to our, our groundsman on the floor and he would uh, connect the poles to the big shot together and um, a three metre pole and he'd attach the whole system, so the poles and the tape to our climbing line and then we would pull that up to the top. And then yeah, and then we just push the pole up to the tip of the tree and we had a guy in another tree so he could verify that the tip of the pole was on the tip of the tree and then the measurement would be made from the ground.
being up on the tree and actually looking around and see other guys at the tops was just really exciting and relieving. And the fact that the cause behind it or the reason behind it was to measure the trees and create a little footage was just really humbling. There was no, no big plan behind it, there was no money behind it and it was just so relieving and being up there and having this great view was really great. an estimate and you take it from there. Some good sound in the background. It's not like a squalling tree with balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made with lead in sorry. And you throw these balls over a limb and then you attach your climbing line and then you pull your like climbing line. She <laughs> <laughs> <You> said balls. <laughs> 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 may not even use this, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking that way. Because you guys say, won't even shit. use it. Nah. <laughs> in the outtakes? No, nah, no, nah, we probably will. In the bloopers, yeah. <laughs> you said balls. <laughs> yeah, you got to put that in, in the it outtakes. It is on the credits. Yeah. <laughs>